Mama, my loves. Uh, Kira was signed onto my channel. Uh, my name is B. My B, baby B, Beatrice B. Uh, welcome to Born to Be Free. And first and foremost, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers for us reaching 500 subscribers well 500 and above i thank you thank you thank you i love you guys uh, thank you so much for those of you that has been with me since i started my journey thank you thank you thank you so much for those of you that are new to my journey welcome welcome karibu sana uh, so um yeah so uh today i just want to discuss uh pretty much my experience here so far um on the motherland here in Tanzania it's been three months how exciting um, three months yeah so I pretty much yeah, I just want to go over things uh, that I've experienced the good the bad and the not so good so pretty much uh, when I first landed in Tanzania wow I was surprised at the level of beauty the natural beauty the greenery <clears throat> Uh, the the greenery um, the trees and everything gave you that you know feeling of being um, on vacation I really love that coming in and I was looking around like yo this is Africa because <laughs> I've been in the US since I was very little so everything you know I've known of Africa is pretty much what I've been seeing on TV and you just see jungles no houses no nothing just <laughs> primitive primitive lifestyle but yeah tanzania was beautiful the energy was great um and then the food the the food oh wow organic bananas have seeds guys bananas have seeds i didn't know that just learned that but yeah bananas have seeds um all the fruits um have seeds in them watermelon i touched on that on a previous video of mine yeah everything everything is organic even like the beans um, the rice and beans tanzanians are known for eating a lot of white rice i eat in white rice weeks back to back back to back at a time and nothing happened i didn't feel any differences in my body compared to when i was eating brown rice or quinoa or um, wild rice so and that's another thing um yeah that's another thing that surprised me so yeah the the food is very very organic everything's fresh the meat everything um i'm vegan but <laughs> based on what um my neighbors and stuff cook they eat like everything is fresh um the people the the people they are very beautiful um very very beautiful you get a variety of blackness you know <laughs> you're a majority here you're not minority you're a majority um everyone's beautiful the the funny thing is in the western world growing up you're taught that to have lighter eyes you know most people that have lighter eyes are mixed that's not true i've seen blue black people with like honey bright brown eyes and i'm looking at like that better not be contacts in your eyes sis, in this in this um heat but no i've seen so many people and i'm looking at them like wow you know god's creation is just beautiful like you you get a variety of everyone here you get a variety of complexions like I've seen light skin like Tanzanians they're from here I've seen and then of course yeah they're from here they're not a mixture of anyone else and that's the misconception people get like oh you're you're lighter you're mixed probably in the, the US in the Western world but in Africa I've seen a lot of people that are lighter complexion they're from here you can tell they're from here you can tell the temperature based on the, the temperatures and stuff how it fluctuates in different regions you know people look different based on where you know what part they come from so yeah i i pretty much noticed that um very very beautiful the women here are natural okay they still wear their weave they like the weaves okay but you don't see a lot of makeup you see a lot of natural um just natural look and the skins are like yo 
flawless. They, yeah, natural beauty. I, I love that. One thing I didn't, one thing I didn't, I was a little confused was Tanzanian shoe guys are average heights. Coming in, <laughs> I was expecting, you know, giants. I was expecting everyone to be much taller, you know, because East Africans, you know, growing up, you always see that even the East Africans that I knew, you know, I've been around East Africans, went to Swahili village in DC, all of their locations, they open. I was there. I've been around East Africans. East Africans are much taller. But to my surprise, Tanzanians are actually average heights. And here, sometimes I feel like a giant. And I'm like five seven, five eight. So yeah, that, that was one of the um, surprise. Um, one of my one of the surprises here um, and okay so we've done with the good <laughs> yay the food's good people good they're happy to do their thing um the land is beautiful it's very very fertile very fertile okay you you can have your own little house you just drop the sea it just grows okay so we're finished with that okay the I won't say the bad, I would say the not so used to, not so good, the power. Yeah. Power be going out, power be like, <laughs> I don't feel like staying out right now, booms. Power out, power goes out. Whenever the power feels like going out, <laughs> it goes out, power does not. Power goes out, okay. So if you're coming in, just, you know, I have few, I have other videos that touch on different things you can bring if you're coming in and stuff. Yeah, because the power does go out. Mm -hmm. I have my candles. I have my flashlight. I'll be like this. Who's that coming in? <laughs> my neighbors be like, bitch, just put the flashlight down. Yeah, so the power goes out whenever it wants to go out. But it hasn't stayed out that long. I haven't experienced like more than 20 minutes of an outage and so forth. Um, and when it goes out, I go bother my neighbors. <laughs> That's about it. Um, secondly, oh, Dar is hot. Dar is hot. Dar is hot. Okay, Dar be like, okay, you sure you want to walk up the street? It just be like, shh, the heat just be on your back. Like, just on your back, okay? Like, to the point that where you just have to catch a boulder or something. <laughs> Something that will normally take you less than two minutes to get there. It's like, look, I don't care. Just boil that. Just take me right there to that shop. And it'll be looking at you like, what? I need that air to hit me. Just take me right there. Okay? So, yeah, it's it's very, very hot. But then, again, the temperature does cool down, especially at night. And then now it's rainy season, so the temperature has been much cooler and so forth. But it's not really unbearable hot but if you're not used to heat heat hot and i'm west african descendant okay it's hot <laughs> i don't care it's, it's hot okay it's very hot um okay so we're finished with the not so good which are not like really major issues oh okay the accent pricing the accent pricing when you start speaking King Ereza, English <laughs> price come from I don't know 500 Tanzanian chillings to like 5,000 Tanzanian chillings and I'm like I went I bought it from there before all of y'all on the same strip your prices is the same we're not playing this today okay accent price then hey that's no joke I don't care what anyone say it's the truth okay I don't care, you can go in local area, it might not be three times as much, it might just be a time and a half, you know, because, you know, locals are much nicer than, <laughs> no, let me not say that. In tourist area, it's different. They will charge you five times the amount, they don't care. If you go to somewhere further out and you speak English, you try to mix the Swahili with the English, they might charge you I don't know like a, a dollar and a half you know and which is is very affordable so yeah accent pricing is very real okay I have something coming up that will kind of like teach you a few things so you know just the basics to know before coming here in Tanzania okay 
So we have the good, the not so good, and then the ugh. Really, sis or brother, you have people that are on this fast come up that when they see you're new, <laughs> they'll just try to like stick themselves on you like the little parasites and it's like, go away. Um, and it's just like you're looking like, like they will tell you, they'll start telling you stuff about businesses, family life story, like I don't own you anything. And just stuff like that will make it seem like they're gonna take you around, but by the time you get to phase one, the second phase, you probably done spend like, I don't know, a hundred thousand tons on your chillings, and that's like $43 US. That's a lot of money. That's a lot, a lot of money. But so for me, the way I, the way I see it is that situation is like anywhere else in the world. If you move from, I don't know, Maryland and you go to California, their hustle is different. And people know you don't, you don't know the area. Yeah, they might try to, you know, get a dime or two off of you. And that's what I've noticed here. Um, but then there are also brothers and sisters you meet. <laughs> They'll laugh and be like, you're American. Uh -uh. But they will tell you, no don't go here don't do this call me um, you know let me know if you want this I'll bring it for you and you know yeah there there are people here that are very genuine but yeah there there are some people here that would just you just be sitting there like yo I'm I, I am book smart and industry smart as well so no that's that's not going to work and yeah, there are people here that are very, very, very genuine. And um, so yeah, based in some, you know, other experiences that I had, have, had, had, <laughs> was pretty much Uber. So Uber is fixed, but it's not, the price is not really 100% fixed. So let's say for instance, um, there's a set location you're going to as long as the driver takes those specific routes it is fixed but if those drivers if they're hip okay to the game that they can go <laughs> to Dodoma and go to Arusha and come all the way back before take you to somewhere that's five minutes away then it would charge then you pretty much charge much more so there there are drivers who has done that and I'm sitting there looking at him like Oh no, I'll take this. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're fine. You're fine. I'll take this. Then they go, they take all the corner phone corners. <laughs> Something that's supposed to cost you like, I don't know, 2500 less than a, uh, probably like a dollar. And I'm costing you like $3. And then you get there, and then I'm like, you could have just went straight. I know. I won't use you again. <laughs> I know and it was just still they would just have this look like how she know like I know um, There's another situation where my uber driver purposely sat <laughs> in one spot For 10 minutes because he wanted to reach 10,000 10,000. That's a little over four dollars US Call me and I guess someone, another Bajaji thought, driver thought that he needed help. So he come, he, the Bajaji driver uh, parks and he was like, do you need help? And then he's laughing like, oh, I'm trying to get to Kumi. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here for a little while. And I'm like, is everything okay? So I can hear them. And I'm like, this, he's trying to make <laughs> 10000 I was like, you know what, B? Look, okay, choose your battles, okay? This is not one of them. We, I just had a delicious lunch, okay? At some restaurant I went to, I wasn't about to fight that battle. Please, let's sit here. 10 minutes, we sat there about 10 minutes and then he finally drove off when we got here. It was, um, it, it was 9,000. <laughs> I told him, I gave him 10,000. I said, give me back my 1,000. I said, I would have tipped you 2,000. Your loss, because I knew you sat there and waited because you wanted to make 10000 And he was like, you know, Swahili, my ear hears, okay? 
But other than that, other, other, other than those little things here and there, I haven't had any major experiences that are out the norm. Coming in, I did my own research. I came in mentally prepared that this is a different culture. This is Africa. This is East Africa, okay? Coming here, a lot of, for instance, the way they clean is different than the way I clean, okay? I was, I was surprised. <laughs> you gonna clean all of that and bring it in my room? No, but that's, that's how they clean here, which is fine. A lot of the homes and stuff, um, you know, the, the way they upkeep it is, is different. A lot of times, um, certain things are not done with the, the home unless someone is, unless you pay to start living there or unless someone is already living there, you know? I said, okay, that's fine. That's your culture. Um, yeah, but other than that, no one is, is bothering me. That For me, there's really nothing you can handle.